Now it's listen to attention time. Hi, kids. Kremen here. You remember the tight spot we were in last time? Carla was standing alone on Brooklyn Bridge, trying to lure the giant banana towards her. Cooey, Mr. Banana, over here! Hidden behind a skyscraper, my trusty spaceship, Troll One, was ready to attack the fiendish creature. We moved slowly into the firing line. Prime photon bullets! Photon bullets primed! By the look on that banana's face, Doc, mm -hmm. I'd say it liked Carla. Mm -hmm. I think Carla likes the banana. Engage Thron Banks. Thron Banks engaged. <laughs> Quick, Captain, it's reaching down to her. Quick as a flash, I threw the ship into hyperdrive, shot out from behind the building, and fire one. <laughs> fire two. <laughs> Two direct hits. The banana lurched to one side, groaning. Quick, Doc, home in on Carla and pick her up. Yamming, yeah, Captain! With a soul-tearing groan, the banana finally keeled over and fell headlong into the Hudson. <laughs> News, Milton Thrin reporting. Teams of navvies have been employed to drag the wounded banana to dry land. Then, with the aid of hundreds of mobile tower cranes, take it to New York City Hospital, where a team of surgeons led by Dr. Heinrich von Gitfinger are operating on this weird creature even now. Carla and I were back at the offices of Star Corps, patting each mm. other on the back. Oh, oh. Down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah. Up oh. a bit. Oh. Oh. Have, oh. I got, have I got it? Mm. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, Captain, what? reports are coming in from all over saying there's enough fruit and vegetables to feed the whole world forever. I know, that's wonderful, Carla. Ah, Doctor, did you manage to save the banana? Well, it was touch and go for a while, but eventually it pulls through. Well, that's wonderful, Doc. Any problems? Well, there is just one easy bitsy one. What's that? I'm afraid that even though the banana is still alive, uh -huh. it will always be a cabbage. <laughs> Well, that's another nasty situation neatly tucked away, Carla. Yeah, you've saved the world again. Yeah. But you know, I always hate it when an adventure comes to an end. Oh, why's that? Because it means I gotta think of a whole new one for next week. <laughs>